Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the uh, Seymour Micro HMI Object Recipe. And up on my screen here, I've got the program from the last time we did the bitmap um, object. So we've added a new page called page number 10. And on that page, we have three indication lights as well as um, four numeric displays. And what we want to do is create a recipe so that if we hit one, these values change. Recipe two will change to different values, and recipe three will change again to different values. And what you'll see is if I um, select all of these recipe indicators, and we'll just move them aside, what we're left with is actually the actual recipe itself and the recipe button, which we'll notice here on the right hand side under the object list. So if we hit the recipe, the recipe inf information comes up on my screen. And this is recipe button number one. And what recipe buttons will do is actually copy multiple tags um, of information into the controller. Or it can swap information in the controller. So here are my general label. Um, then we have a recipe. So here I've assigned uh, four different um, MHR numbers in the PLC, 16, 17, 18, and 19, which contain a value of 150, 80, and 30. And we'll go into that a little bit later. Then we have MC11, 12, and 13, which will represent our recipe that we're actually putting in. So in this case here, this is recipe number one. So I'm going to turn on MC11. I'm going to turn that on and turn the other two off. So that is recipe number one. And then under the option tab, what you'll notice is that we have a visibility if we want to hide this within the page itself. So there are my recipes. So when I hit that recipe number, those values are going to be loaded from the source into the destination. I hit OK. You'll see on my recipe number two. And we'll go into the actual recipe and again, we have different source values, and then we have uh, MC12 will turn on. And we'll hit OK. And then finally, recipe button number three, we have on, under the recipe, there's my third MC13 will be on, and there are two off. And again, my source code, or my source uh, information here, source data, is 50, 60, 70, and 100. Okay. So there are my uh, three recipes, my four different variables that I'm loading up. So we'll just hit OK. And under my uh, recipe one indication, here is the indicator light that we have. And what we've, what we've done is just labeled it recipe number one. And we've used MC11 as the bit that turns it on if recipe one is on. We'll hit OK. Same with two. And then we'll just hit OK. And number three. So MC13 will then be on. We'll hit OK. So that's my uh, three indications there, my three recipes. And what I do is I cover them up with the indicator over the touch panel. And what that will do is as I select the recipe, then the values then change. And what I've done is taken MHR16 and put numeric displays here. And for each of the ones, I use MHR16 as a label. And for the tag, it's MHR16. So that's the value that's going to be placed into that controller. And for the number of digits, we've took, we uh, set it for a value of 4 with a fractional of 1, which means that it will have one decimal place. So we'll hit OK. And I've done that for... MHR 16, 17, 18, and 19, which represent the recipe that we're, we're putting into the controller. So, once we have that, we can actually simulate that with our software. So if we hit simulate, all right, we'll change the, we'll say yes to all the changes. They'll compile it. And now we will simulate this. And what we'll do is go to page 10, which is our recipe page, which you'll see here. And then if I hit switch recipe number one, you'll see the values now change. You can see them change here as well as on the screen. Recipe number two, 
those values change and recipe number three so that looks like everything's working the way it should so that is our simulation and we'll exit out of there and now what we'll do is go to our actual display and we will transfer our project or our project to the panel so we'll send to the panel we'll use our ethernet connection and we'll hit transfer so now we're transferring this into our HMI right now and that has completed we'll hit OK and we'll just close that down our Seymour Micro we're, we're finished with it now and what we'll do is go to our select screen we'll go cursor up one which gets to our recipe hit enter now there's our recipe that we've selected and as you see we hit recipe two three and just like the simulator it does exactly the same as what we expected now if we look up on the screen we're actually connected to our do more designer and our, our do more simulator so let's first of all look at the program and what we have is uh, X9 when it first comes on it will transfer MHR 16 17 18 and 19 into N16 17 18 and 19 so that is our set value for our timers that we're going to be programming then on the trailing edge of X9 we put 0 into N26 27 28 and 29 and these are the um, present values of the timers that we're going to program. Then when X9 is on, we take our 100 millisecond pulsing flag on the leading edge and we will increment N26, 27, 28, 29. So that will actually give us our count value. Then we take a look at our outputs and we compare our present value to our set value for each of the outputs x11 y12 y13 y14 and it will set it accordingly so that is our actual program and if we call up the actual simulator and everything goes by x9 we look on our screen there's all our values there so we turn on x9 and our outputs all come on then as it times out and this is why we use the point or the 100 milliseconds or 0.1 of a second so that we can see all that happening. If we turn X9 off, you'll see that uh, they zero all out and then we can start again. So this could be like adding ingredients into a batch file, something like that from our controller in a different sequence. Now once we've finished with that one, let's try recipe number two. There we go. And we will turn off X9 and now we will turn it back on again and again our recipe now is different and we have a different indication lights so that's exactly as we expected to happen and let's uh, try recipe number three you can see as soon as I turn the recipe on uh, the values will go in and now we will start our timing our timers and the outputs change accordingly so all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca they can also be found on the links below and if you like this video and like to see more there are three ways in which you can help us out you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information you can subscribe to our youtube channel you can also go to acc automation and subscribe to our website when you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.